On the last row, we're going to stop with the main mark at six o'clock. You can remove your soft weight and remove the cable ring from the bottom. Find the scrap yarn, the one that was the different color, and you're going to use it to, you'll see it naturally sort of creates the, the stitch, pulls the stitch out, and you're going to hang it over the first needle to the right of the main mark. Then you're going to continue all the way around using the scrap yarn to hang the other bars. You should be able to do all of them except for the one that's immediately in front of the yarn feeder. Now you'll take your loom tool and you need to pick up the smiles. See, they're kind of like smiles and frowns and smiles and frowns. I thought it might help to look at this sample piece of knitting. And this is the side that looks like the outside of a sock would sit. This would sit in the cylinder like this. And this is the part down in the center. And this is the side that we're looking at when we're looking to pull up the bars over the needles. If I pull this part a little bit, I don't know if you can see how these stitches are formed, that there's this part, kind of this little horseshoe here, and then it has an interlocking piece this way, a little more of a U shape, so kind of got horseshoes and U's. And at the top, this makes a little frown, and this makes a little smile. This makes a little frown, this makes a little smile. So when we're trying to pick up the bars, we need to follow the row across, right? We just need to pick up the smile. So here's one smile, we'd skip this frown. Here's a smile, we'd skip that frown. Here's a smile, skip the frown. Like that, all the way across. So you need to get the smiles and all from the same row. So here's the next one that needs to be picked up. And you hang it on the next needle over. Might be easier if this weren't here. And then you look carefully to find the next one. You keep hanging them all the way across. So I've now hung all the stitches in between the first markers and I've removed those scrap yarns. And now we want to lift up all of those needles up and out of work. Can then crank a little bit farther so the next section is uh, more easily reachable but because there's no soft weight in you'll need to use your hand again to hold those stitches as they go past the yarn feeder and then you can continue hanging the next section after you have hung all the bars you've got two stitches on each needle and all the needles are lifted, you are ready for the latch tool bind off. Visit us at deanandbean.com and please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.